Hi everyone, welcome back to Toe of the Week. Stay tuned. to see all of you guys welcome back and welcome back to my second spring toe design love the way it turned out it's matching this set of nails i did on monday check these out aren't those just darling i love the way they turned out and i just can't describe this color being a holographic sometimes it looks peach sometimes it looks pink sometimes it even looks gold it's beautiful i love the way it turned out i love how it matches the nails and i love how i always do it a little bit different on the toes i think they are darling and i hope you guys are enjoying my toe designs again stay tuned because i will be doing my shoe collection again i'll be doing three pairs the third one will be the shoes i'm wearing in this fashion friday's outfit of the day to match this set so stay tuned for that um if you are new to my channel right there is the red subscribe button subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of my uploads if you're in my angels heavenly nails channel i do have my other channel linked down there called keep it keto i load the nails the toes and the outfits in that channel but also teach keto with this pandemic going around I want to help as many people get healthy. I've helped over a thousand. The number is growing, but I want to help many more. And we need to be as healthy as we can, not only for our body, but our mind too. So definitely, you know, if you want to go over there and subscribe to that channel, if you're in my Keep It Keto and you only like the nails, well, I link the Angels Heavenly Nails down in that channel. So, but other than that, um, definitely share around my channel so my channel can grow and I can help many people get their life back and get healthy through this pandemic we're going through. Um, and also shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this toe design and my shoe collection and before i leave i'd like to read something for you guys we're supposed to fear not remember 365 times it says in the bible to fear not for i am with you i will never leave you nor forsake you i'm going to leave you with psalms 23 4 even though i walk through the darkest valley i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your shaft they comfort me what a great one to hear right now because we are going through somewhat of a shadow of death. You know, that's what it seems like. So fear not, you guys. He is with you, always with you. And I just want you guys to know that. Just be happy, live your life, and know that this will be over with soon enough and it will strengthen each and every one of us through this. So just be strong and just know that God is ultimately in control of everything. I love you guys very much. Let's get started on this toe design. Everybody take care, God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for my second spring toe design of the year matching the nails I did on Monday. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Excited to be doing my second spring look and just getting back to doing the toe designs. It's always so much fun. I'm matching this set of toes with the nails that I did on Monday. If you didn't get a chance to see that, definitely check them out. I always do a set of nails, a set of toes, and then I follow with a Fashion Friday outfit that matches the whole look. So let me go over and show you the supplies. If you didn't get to see Monday's video, it's all the same supplies and I write it down in the box. But if you didn't get to see it, go ahead and go check that one out. If you're just a person that likes the toes, then I'll you know go over and tell you everything in this video. All right, so I've got them all done solid on the baby toes. I always do the toes a little bit different, but it always matches still. I just do them a little bit different because they're toes. So I've got them all done on the little toes solid. And then the big toe, I've got that open there where I went almost the whole toe, just left a little area open like I did here so I can do the stamping design on there. And I will show you the colors there. So on the big toe, I did a sheer polish first like I did on the nails there. I did a sheer before I put that um, stamping on. So I did this one here. I bought this at Dollar Tree. It was a clear kiss gel polish and I uh, added a light baby pink kiss gel polish I bought and I put 30 drops in it and shook it up. And it works great for these sheer looks when you're doing a French tip look or something like this. 
So that's the one I'm using that I made. And then this is the color polish I'm using. Now it's so funny. Right now it looks more pink. Sometimes it looks more peach. It's a peachy pink. It's a holographic because it's got gold in it. It changes colors. It's beautiful. Now, right now the bottle looks more pink and that's what it looks like on the toes. But at night it looks more like the cover, more like a peach color. So it's really weird how this one changes. But again, it's a holographic. Got this from Walmart. It's called Sentiment. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's perfect for the spring. And you see that, you know, that pink color. So it's so pretty. So that's why I left that open because on the big toe, I'm going to make it look like these. And then on the smaller toes, we're going to leave them like that. But we're going to be stamping with this black here. And it's called Express. I got this from Dollar Tree as well. And I will be stamping with my Born Pretty Clear Stamper. So you can see through it when I do it. I'll be using that. I got that off of Amazon. It's a nice big one. And then I'll be using this company for the plate. And the plate I'm using is this one here. That's the numbers right there. And I'll put it down below also. I'll be using this image right here, just part of it. And I'll show you how I do that. I just grab some of it and I take some off. And I'll show you how I'm, I'm using that just to go down. I just kind of want it. It's kind of a leaving design, but more of like a lacy look. I just liked it. So I'm using that one. And I'll use this scraper here. That company, I bought some plates. And so I'm, I like this scraper. It's just a little one using that scraper and then I'm going to be taking a liner this art deco I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go along just to make a black line on the baby toes just so it gets some black in it since they're so plain and then I'm going to add in these crystals here um, I'm going to use the little kind of smoky grayish color or the black I'm going to put a little stone down by the cuticle but I'm also going to add a black line um, or maybe I want it all. I don't know. We'll see it. You guys would have seen it in the beginning, you know, beginning photo, what I did. So either these smoky ones or those, and then these pink ones here are going to go down the side of the big toe, like on the finger here. They're going to go down the side. I will use ASP glue to glue them down. And I get that from Sally's, the wheel of color I got from Hobby Lobby. And there's like 500 stones in there. And I'll use just a orange wood stick just to get the glue and put them on. And I think that's it. And at the very end, I will top coat with the Sesh Beat Dry Fast. I love that polish. So I'm going to get some of the black lining paint done on the baby toes. And then I will return. I'm just trying to let this dry a little bit more before I start stamping. So let me get that black done and I'll return. Okay, now you see I've got just the black tips on the baby toes. And I'll show you how I'm doing that. I'm going to draw in and I'm just using this liner here by Dollar Tree and it's just black and just a very thin little line at the tip. I'm just gonna put the black paint on. And it's nice with these liners because it's so thin. You can do it nice and thin. You can do it thicker, however you want. So just go from one side and then just come over from the other side. And this doesn't have to be perfect just as long as you have that little black line in there and just try to cap your end as well. So you're covering it up with the black there. Then we get some black into this design so it looks good. Oh gosh, I hope, oh my gosh, I don't know if you were seeing that. Basically, you're just gonna go across very lightly with this paint from one side to the next. I'm sorry if you guys missed that. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it wasn't on all the way. But that's basically what you're doing is just that, just drawing a nice little thin black line. All right, let me draw out here. Okay. So that's that there. We're gonna let that dry up. Like I said, I'm gonna put a little black stone down at the bottom too, just to bring in some more black. And then I forgot to show you, I am gonna be working with uh, that striping tape too, like I did on the fingernails, that gold, because I love it, it's holographic. I got it from my good friend, Jan. I'm gonna use a very thin piece and put that down after I've done the stamping uh, with the black, then I'm gonna do the line like I did on my fingers. So we're gonna start though with putting the stamping on. So I'm gonna do one toe and then I will return to show you. Okay, so I've got one done so far. And sorry, I have a little cut down here. I cut my toe a few weeks back and from a shoe I was wearing, it was rubbing against it. So, but that's what it's gonna look like. See how it's got that lace in there? So let me show you how I'm doing that. So we got the plate out, it's all clean and ready to go. We'll put it on this side so you guys can see it as I do it and see the design. I will draw in, all right. And we're gonna be using that image right there. So we're gonna get the black and we're just gonna just paint on just a little bit there. You don't need the whole image because we're gonna be taking some off anyways. So we'll go like this and scrape first. Then we're gonna pick the image up with our stamper like that. And now we're gonna kind of clean some of it up. So what we're gonna do is go to one side first with 
the stamper or scraper, I'm sorry, and then go to the other side and take a little bit off there too. And then because it's not as long as the toe, this is longer than the toe, I mean, I'm gonna go to each end and just take a little bit off of each end like that. And that's the image I want now. So we'll move this over and I will come up so I can show you this so you can see through this as I do it. And hopefully you'll be able to. We're just gonna set it down. It's actually a little bit longer still than what I need. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. All right. And then we're just gonna set it down here. And we're just gonna go ahead and stamp it on. Hopefully you're seeing that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. All right. And then we're just gonna kind of push it down. And you have a couple little pieces and you can clean that up with tape or you can clean it up with 100% uh, acetone and a little brush. But we need this to stay, so push the design down like that. And there you've got the design. And then just take your thing and you can clean it off with a lint roller or just your, you know, uh, scraper here. All right. So I will clean off my plate quick. I like to always keep these plates clean. All right, so that's cleaned up. Now, we are going to go on to the next step, which is putting in that holographic uh, striping tape. And I'm gonna do that part, but I also need to put the stones on. So I might get the stones done and get one of the holographic done, and then I'll return. Okay, I'm back. And I kinda went back and forth with this one. I had intended on doing both on this foot to show you, but I already put the rhinestones on this side, the light baby pink rhinestones on this side. And um, all the stones, but I did leave one open. And then over here, I did all the black stones, but left this one open. So I'm going to show you the black stone on this one, and then I will show you the pink stones on this one. So we're going to go ahead and draw in. And I'm actually using the smoky gray black stones. I like those better. They show up a little bit better. So we'll get this out here, and we'll get one set out so it's easy to get to. We just need one. So I'll put this other one back. All right, and then I've got a little bit of a glue on this cap here. I'm just gonna get a little dot of glue and dot it right there, and then grab that little stone and set it down. Pretty simple, and then we're gonna be top coating with that sesh feet. Okay, now we'll go to the other side, and we'll put the pink stones in, and I'll show you how I'm doing that. All right, and I already got the black striping on, so I've gotta do, I'm sorry, the gold striping. I still gotta do the striping on the other side, and I'll show you that step. So we'll get the pink stones ready and grab just a few out. I need four of them. I'm doing four. All right. And then we're just going to put some dots of glue just kind of randomly around so we can get four stones in here. And just make sure you got some glue down so you can get these. All right. And now we're going to start picking up these little stones and just set them down. I will switch hands here so you guys can see this better. Grab a stone and just set it right into the glue, like that. And I, I lick the end of this because I'm just doing it on myself, so it's just easier. That one had two in a row there, so that's good. Let me just get this one over here. That one right there, I'm kind of going, you know, kind of zigzag with it so they're not all lined up perfectly. And then we'll get one more here and put that down here. Uh-oh. Sorry, I gotta flip that one over. All right, and then just put it down into the glue there. Like that, and you see it kind of does like a zigzag. So like that. All right, so that's that part. And then I do have a piece of this striping tape out. I've got a piece right there all ready to go. So we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna go ahead and put that on this toe here. You're just gonna set it down into the cuticle area. Be, um, Lifting it up just a little bit though, so that it's not too close to the cuticle. A little bit harder when you have gloves on. I hope you guys can see this, sorry. I'm trying to be able to have you guys see this. Set it down, oops. A little bit harder when you got gloves on. All right, and then just line it up like that. But make sure, like I said, it's not next to the cuticle there. All right, and then the top part, what you're gonna do is grab these little scissors I love these scissors. They come bent like that. I love that so that you can get up under here. And you want to lift this a little bit because you want to definitely not be right at the free edge. You want to be above the free edge. That way it won't lift, okay? 
And if you notice that it didn't do that, then just lift it up there and cut a little bit more like that. So it's not to that free edge. And then what I do is I take a little bit of glue, okay? And I take my orange wood stick and I kind of just go to the very tip and the very tip of this. It does seem to help hold them down if you can get a little bit of glue up under there. And then just wipe it off and then just push down that area and then just go like that because it seems to help hold these. Otherwise, these lift a little bit more than regular striping tape. It lifts a little bit more. But isn't that pretty? I love it. It looks so pretty with all of the different things going on here. So now I am going to draw back out for you guys. Okay. And now I'm going to let these just dry up a little bit. We're going to top coat them with the sesh feet and I'll return to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done, and I love the way these turned out. Aren't they just darling? And I love how I always do the toes a little bit different. I think these are perfect. They're matching the nails I did on Monday, and they really look spring-like. Like I said, I can't describe this color. Right now, it looks like it's more peach. Sometimes it looks more pink. It's just because of the holographic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely give this look a try and stay tuned for my shoe collection. Remember, the last one will be the ones I'll be wearing for the Fashion Friday to match these toes and these nails. I hope all of you are doing well. God bless. Take care. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.